And welcome back. We want to take a little time this morning to introduce you to a member of the WQAD News team, not necessarily a new member. Joe McCoy has been with us for, uh, for some time, but you may have just started seeing his reports, hearing his voice, seeing his face uh, on our airwaves recently. Joe, thanks for taking the time this yeah, morning. Thanks so much for having me, John. I uh, want to give viewers kind of an idea of what you've been doing with WQAD, what your background is, because you've been working, you've been in school. Yep. So yeah, so I uh, just graduated from Augustana in December, um, and I started interning for WQAD in the summer. Um, unfortunately, that internship was cut a bit short after three weeks when I was hit by a car. Uh, so I had a double open compound fracture on my right leg, which sent me home for the rest of the summer. I was doing a little bit of digital work from the couch. That's all I was able to do with my laptop. Um, luckily, leg is all healed now. I did my final semester at Augie, where I continued to intern here, doing editing, uh, writing for digital, and then also working on weekends, covering BOSOTs and stories like that. And now here I am, full time, doing packages on air, as my, I was on Monday for the first time. So yeah. Yeah, and that story looked great. I want to get a sense of what kind of got you into this business, what your interest is, and what are you looking uh, forward to reporting on? Yeah. So. Uh, sports have always been my biggest thing. Ever since I was younger, I mean, my parents would tell you I'd wake up every day and I'd turn on Sports Center, and that was how I got my day started all the time. So, sports was kind of the initial, you know, kind of bringing me into the industry. Um, but then I was around freshman year, I took a class on journalism, and Dr. Schwartz at Augustana was my professor, and me and him just hit it off right away. Um, and ever since then, it was honestly a pretty quick process of I decided that journalism was going to be the route I was going to go career-wise. Um, so I also have an economics background through school, but I just knew that sitting in a, in a cubicle every day, crunching numbers, doing economics was not going to be for me. So, you know, being able to do journalism and have sports and go out and talk to people and go out and cover stories is just, I don't know, it's something new and exciting every single day. Um, and that's, that's probably the biggest thing why news is just the passion that I have, because I get to meet so many people, I get to go to events and places that I would never go if I weren't in this business. And I think that's what ultimately got me, got me into news. Yeah, it's very much a back scenes kind of look at life in many ways. Yeah. And whether it's sports or anything else, you get to tell stories. And that's right. uh, what we love to do here. Um, you have some other projects in the works as well. Tell us about those. Yeah, so I have a podcast coming up called Sports with the Real McCoy, which I'm really excited for. Um, this is kind of a continuation of what I started at Augustana. I had my own sports radio show for the Augie radio station. And now we're kind of making that uh, you know, at WQAD now. So yeah, again, called Sports with the Real McCoy, coming soon. We're going to be covering more national sports. So the NFL is my biggest passion. Um, so covering NFL, MLB, NBA, you know, any other big topics throughout the sports world. And I'm sure, um, you know, I would love to get some more local stories as well if I can interview possibly, you know, players from the Hawkeyes or Iowa State and get more local angles on things. But yeah, that's coming soon. Uh, it'll be a podcast format on the website. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that. And certainly there's a lot of Iowa connections in all of those, uh, in all those fields. So I'm sure you're going to dig those up for us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Joe, thanks for taking the time this morning. And it's time for one last.